Looking at the morphology or physical features of animals can tell us a lot about them, including their evolution. But when you think of reptiles, you probably don't think of their ears. But here's someone who does. You may come as a surprise, but snakes actually evolved from lizards. Over time, they gained a long body and lost their limbs, turning them into the slithering, scaly animals we know today. But why did this happen? Hi, I'm Alessandro, and here at the South Australian Museum, we are learning more about the origin of snakes by taking a closer look at how they lived millions of years ago. While we know that snakes evolved from lizards, nobody knows what kind of ecology led to their new body shape. Some researchers believe they evolved as eel-like swimmers, while others argue they originated as worm-like borrowers. Our research shows that things may not have been so clear-cut. Let's take a look at what we found. For our study, we decided to take a close look at the fossilized remains of two primitive Australian snakes, the 23-million-year-old Yurlungur from Northern Australia and a much younger Wunambi from Southern Australia, which went extinct about 50,000 years ago. We did this by looking at their ears. Yep, that's right, snakes have ears, and they're important, not only for hearing, but also for balance and orientation. Their ears are located inside their skull, and the shape of them is different, depending on whether the snake's head is mostly kept above ground, underground, or in the water. That means, by looking at the shape of the fossilized snake's ears, and comparing them to the inner ears of lizards and snakes of today, we can learn a lot about the type of lifestyles they would have had. To do that, we use this high-resolution computer tomography scanner to take scans of the snake fossils and the skulls of 81 lizards and snakes. This scanner is able to create detailed 3D images by taking hundreds of X-rays from different angles. Once we had our inner ear scans, we use specialized software to investigate them further. We analyze the special relations between the different portions of the inner ear. A central part, called the sacculus, and the three straw-like structures, called the semicircular canals. We then compared our findings from the ancient snakes to our findings from our living species to work out what the lifestyles of the fossil snakes must have been like. This makes us believe that the earliest snakes were really adaptable, and there may not have been a single ecological driver to their origin. Now we opt to use the same methods to analyze more fossils, to get an even broader understanding of the diversity of lifestyles in the snakes of ancient Australia. 